Hi, if you have just started out with the Raspberry Pi, I'm sure that in many of the tutorials you watched, you heard this one line, sudo nano this, sudo nano that. If you're wondering what nano is, it is a terminal text editor. Personally, I feel that terminal text editor can be a little overwhelming for people who have just started out with the Raspberry Pi and the command line interface. As a beginner, would you prefer editing text on this or this? Of course, this. So today, I am going to show you how to replace Nano with Visual Studio Code. Let's get started. Currently, you can't install Visual Studio Code with Apt. So, you can either install it with BiApps or from the official website. Today, I am going to show you both the methods if for some reason one of them fails. The first method is PyApps. If you don't know what PyApps is, it is an app store for the Raspberry Pi. From there, you can install many cool apps. This is made by BossFort, and I will definitely recommend that you check out his other creations such as Vue Desktop and Pi Power Tools. For now, open a browser window and go over to his GitHub page at github.com slash botspot slash pi if you scroll down a little bit, you will find the two installation commands. Copy those two commands. Open a new terminal window and paste those two commands. When it asks you whether you want to install it yet, type Y and click enter. Once the installation is complete, close the windows and you will find a PyApps desktop shortcut. Click on it, click on execute. You see that the PyApps window pops up. If you scroll down a little bit, you will find an app called Visual Studio Code. Click on it and click on install. Once installation is over, close the terminal window Close the PyApps window And now if you click on the applications menu And under programming, you will find Visual Studio Code Like I said, we have successfully installed Visual Studio Code on a Raspberry Pi Now, if for some reason the PyApps installation fails, I am going to show you how to install it from the official website. First, open a new browser window and go to the website code.visualstudio.com slash downloads. Near dot dev, click on arm and downloading should begin. It will ask you whether you want to keep or discard it, click on keep. Once the download is over, click on it. A window will pop up asking you whether you want to install it, click on install. Enter your password. If you didn't change your password during the initial setup, the default password is raspberry. Once downloading is over, close the browser window, 
click on the app details menu and under program you will find visuals to record and now you can see we have again successfully installed visuals now let's see how to replace nano with vs code Now you might be asking, I can launch VS Code from the application menu, but how am I going to replace it with Nano? This is very simple. Let's take the example of editing the .config file in the boot partition, which you'll be doing a lot when you have started out with the Raspberry Pi. The normal command is sudo nano slash boot slash config.txt. If you enter this command, it will open the Nano text editor, which as I told you before, can be a little overwhelming for beginners. Let's just close this. If you want to use VS Code, the command is code slash boot slash config.txt. One thing to remember here is not to use this command in sudo. If the file you're trying to save requires sudo or root privileges, Visual Studio Code will ask you for that. So let's execute this command now. And you can see that the config.txt file has opened in a Visual Studio Code window. Now simply just add a comment. This is the config file. Now let's save this file with Ctrl S. You see that a window pops up saying that failed to save config.txt in sufficient permissions. So now click on retry as sudo. Type in your password. And that's it. The file is saved. That's all I want to show you. I would like to tell you one thing. It is better as you gain more experience and you start using nano. As many times for using Linux, you might not have access to a graphical interface and mostly be working in the command line interface. Before the end of this video, I would like to give a shout out to Spectrum Gamer 75, Rake, and Boomerang OS for supporting your channel by hitting the subscribe button. If you too want to shout out to others, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notified for my future videos. Make sure to give this video a like and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server, RPI Codes, where you can get help with my tutorials and also get help with any issues you have with your Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my other videos.